what happened at Altitude, the nightclub? Do you know what? Again, I wasn't there. You were in bed. So I was in bed. Do you know why? Because I, I stayed out of trouble. I just, for all the, the silly things, controversy, I knew exactly when to go out on the piss, when not to go out on the piss. And I was, I never bent the rules like that. I mean, apart from shooting some rabbits, but you know, that was the best intentions of staying well out of the way and not doing anything. And, and the issue with it was, is that we got, what happened is, is, the, is that they laid on some drinks and the, basically the lads went out and probably a few of them got it wrong or did get it wrong. But the narrative and the story that was printed was, was insane. You know, the Irish had been on the piss in that bar for almost 24 hours, so much so that one of the star players, not the name, got carried out right? And they had to shut the bar, clear it all up, pay the band to stay longer because there's going to be a riot because the Irish wouldn't leave. The Welsh were pissing out the wall there, you know, but because Sam Warburton got interviewed and went, I haven't drunk for six months. Everyone was like, go, go on the Welsh. The problem with the English was they turned up on an evening for, it was called Midget Madness Night. And there, there was some, you know, I don't know what the completely correct terminology is these days, but there were some vertically challenged members and they were, they were paid to be there. None of the England players picked up and threw them or did anything, but they were, they were quite friendly. They were rugby fans. So they were running around tackling the lads. They were doing like um, there's something in wrestling called a, uh, a lariat, but it's like a clothesline. So these little guys would come out and be like, lariat, like hit the lads over. The lads were just playing. But someone took a photo, stitched it up, and because they, they played that bullshit narrative that Mike had done something when he hadn't, the bloke just sold it out and our media were the first person to do it. They were like, plucky Welsh, having a good time, drunk, idiotic English. No one stood to our defence. And because the RFU spent the whole time shitting themselves about their image, they just allowed people to ride rush on over them. No one came out and stood up and said, this didn't happen like this, this isn't right. Yes, some lads got it wrong. Yes, lads got you know too drunk in the middle of a World Cup. Would, would I advocate drinking during a World Cup? No, I'd wait for the weekend after the World Cup and then blow the doors off it. But that's just my, that's me personally. And I don't handle drink very well. I'm, I feel really shit after it. You know, p people put their hand up, but it just, they, we, people were allowed to just make up stories and narratives. And our English media are terrible, terrible for that. And then obviously Mike with his profile, they just went after him.